What is up guys? It feels good to be back in this kitchen chair at the kitchen table uploading this video and talking to you guys. Uh, it's been two weeks since my last upload. I'm sorry about that. Uh, a week, uh, two weeks ago I just kind of slacked off, didn't upload a video, and last week my sister came home from spring break and we we're having tons of fun, but whatever. Here, I'm just going to jump straight into the doles and we're facing off against Kira Death Note. Oh baby, I hope he doesn't have a blank space and he's not writing my name. Uh, but yeah, I'm not facing off against Taylor Swift. I'm playing off against uh, Kira Death Note, and he drops <laughs> Fossil Dyna on me. Like, what? Is this Dragon Roller format? What's going on? Why is this guy playing Fossil Dyna? But whatever, I attack into that. Ganache gets bottom list, and I can't do anything. I just can't. It actually gets deep prison, but whatever. So that was a quick dole one. Uh, Kira, too deadly for me, too lethal. That Death Note, too overpowered. Uh, I I was L there. I got I got got. But whatever. Moving on here, we're playing against Hazel Mango. Uh, nice phone on Pulse Drag. Uh, sorry, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon picture there. Uh, I use uh, Dark World Dealings. I give up the Nizuchi because it's the only monster in my hand I can't really summon, and it will give me fodder to go for that. What do you call it? <clears throat> it will give me fodder to go for that uh, Black Dragon. I discard Ganashia with the. Uh, Nizuchi because otherwise I can't special summon it to get out of my hand and I go for a Reagan and draw two cards Just pretty a pretty basic combo. Uh, I draw a Lurie, uh, Chawa, so I'm hoping to get something that I can draw off of uh, I'm hoping to get something so I can use this Chawa onto the field and get out another Reagan. I Go in uh, I draw into the cross. So of course I am able to go for that Chawa discard crust get the monster reborn effect uh, here, I think I can go for it. No, I can't. I won't be able to go for a double quasar with that soul charge because phone on pulse dragon, if you don't know, which I assume you do, if you use its level changing ability, you're not able to special summon monsters except for uh, stuff that would use it as a synchro material monster. So since it's a level two, I can only go into a level seven or a level 12 at that point. Uh, so he plays upstart goblin. Uh, he discarded Vader for my dealings, so... I mean, zero cards in the extra deck, I suppose it's got to be Exodia. So he's using card card D effect. I don't know why I'm saying, hmm, I got to negate it because if he had anything he wanted to activate, he would have activated it before card card D because card card D makes him go to the end phase. But then I kind of next level psyched myself because I thought, oh, maybe I don't want to do that. But he plays Wabako and I let it go through. I don't let it go through, actually. I... I don't let it go through. I'm, I negate it. Uh, I personally think I should have let it go through. Because what if he had a Gores in hand or like a... That stupid Swordsman of the Seven Swords or whatever it's called. The one that uh, if you take battle damage you can drop it and then it can bounce a card back to the extra deck. I think it's, a, you know, the uh, Gores that's light and level 8 or 10. Yeah, it's level 10. Oh, whatever. I'm just trying cards to see if I could have gone into another Quasar. Don't think I could have. And we're moving on. I'm not recording my stuff here. Oh yeah, sorry about that scorecard thing. Uh, it was off by five. I, I'm an idiot and I miscounted the tally marks on my scorecard. So I'm one for one in this stole. Uh, the total is like 48 and 48 to 15. Uh, I took that all. When did Nostalgia Road become a ghetto video? That really brought down that win-loss ratio. Uh, but yeah, I mean, nothing I can do. That's also why I probably won't be able to put out a Fable to Quasar versus Dev Pro for a while, because if you don't know, um, if you don't know, I'm, Dev Pro is completely overrun with Necroz and Heroes. I can't, I gotta go through, like, six or seven games just to find one game where I can have a chance of winning. And even if I have a chance of winning, I just, um... Then there, I got to get a gameplay worthy video. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, it just takes too long to do anything. So until they fix the replays, or the, uh, or the list comes out and it completely hits heroes and necros, I probably won't be uploading a Fabled Quasar versus Dev Pro. So I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> so here uh, we're in the third duel versus a Demo Ten. Uh, a demo one o, oh. yeah, it's it's a demon. I guess a demon was taken, so we had to get creative. And yeah, so here I have a watcher, uh, dog nine seventeen. Shout out to dog. Uh, it's always good to see some support in my videos. Um, let's see. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I took a while there, and I was, uh, that's why I said, hmm, because, um, I wanted to see if I could use Levelier to reduce both, uh, Reagans to two, to a level four, so I would go, be able to go into Double Quasar with the Soul Charge I have face down, but it didn't happen, and, uh, yep, I, I don't know why, I thought he had 9,000 life points. Like, oh, you gotta take 500 more, man, it's 4,500, but you had 10,000 life points, I'm an idiot. So here I'm facing off against heroes. Uh, I'm guessing the face down's a Shadow Mist or an Honest or something. I don't know what they're on. Yeah, it's a Shadow Mist. He's gonna get that search effect, and... Yeah. Oh, yeah, wait. Hold on, I'm right. He doesn't have 10,000 life points. I only use one upstart, but whatever. Uh, it's a little late at this point to care. I mean, whatever. So Quasar's destroyed as Chainlink 3, so I don't get anything off of that. Uh, I made a bit of a misplay. I didn't summon out that level year when I had the chance, but whatever. Um, he had the double Mirror Force face down, which was just like, oh, what? <laughs> double Mirror Force, but whatever. I mean, it's good against Cleese. It's good against Necros. It's always good to have face down. I just, you know, wouldn't advocate running two of them. Because, you know, if this was, like, a deck that had some form of, like, that had a, like, recovery play. That would just get cloggy as all hell, but whatever. It, I, I mean, whatever. I assume he's playing three. You know, heroes will be heroes. Uh, I'm just gonna go for damage now. I attack into a Shadow Mist, and he gets his search off. I think he's going for Bubble Man, yeah. Um, I, I've actually considered playing Bubble Man in this deck, because it, it's good if you draw into it with a Reagan and a Spell card. Because uh, you can just set the spell card, special summon bubble man, and extend your combos from there. But in the end, I decided not to do it because, really, uh, it really has no other synergy with the deck. It's not good to see in your opening hand. It's not good to top deck whenever you're trying to get out of a uh, bad scenario where you lose all your stuff. Uh, here he makes acid. He destroys my back row, and my monster loses 300 attacks. So I have a 1500 black dragon versus this field. Ugh, this field. I think he still has a Bubble Man in hand, so I'm going to get wrecked by that. No. Oh, yeah, he has Rota. So he's going to Rota for Bubble Man, and then he's going to go for Blade Armor Ninja. And even with all the Snatch Deals in the world, I can't get over this. If I would have lived past this turn, I would have, uh... What do you call it? I would have... What do you... Uh, Lord, what is it? I would have Snatch Deal in the Absolute Zero and crashed it into his, uh, Goka. But uh, it just didn't work out. And there's the one day of peace that could have saved me. Would have ripped into Ganashi and that. But yeah, in the end, it didn't really matter. There was nothing I could do. <laughs> yeah, there's always the awkward scenario where the guy doesn't leave. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to chalk that up to a loss on my little scorecard here. And we're moving right into the fourth duel against Gene JD. Or Jean JD, if he's French. Uh, uh, repping that appropriate gamer pick of Lightsworn Dragon. Uh, not Lightsworn, a uh, Judgment Dragon. I hope it's not a Lightsworn card. Otherwise, they could search it with Charge of the Light Brigade. But yeah, here I go for that Raven getting the Grimrow. And here I'm just going to try and make, you know, as many places as I can. Opening up with a Raven without, you know, Lurry is always awkward. And here I'm forced to, uh... I think I'm going for a Librarian. Yeah. I'm going for a Librarian here because I don't have a guaranteed two Reagans, so this will get me the, uh most bang for my buck per se. So here I'm going to get three draws as opposed to making Reagan, then having nothing and having to go into a librarian after I go for Reagan. I get the double, um, I get the double upstart. Is that, yeah, I get the double upstart, which is good. And yeah, phone on pool strike. just coming in so clutch this game. I think I've used it for every Quasar so far. Yeah, I should rename this phone on pool strike and Quasar, not favorite Quasar, but yeah. I rip a Grimrow, it's not doing anything in my hand, and I'm sitting on a Quasar. Uh, he blind MSTs, I don't blame him. I would do the same thing in his position, and looks like he's going to view his extra deck. I don't actually remember what he's playing. I think he might be playing Light Sworn, but obviously my opinion is biased. Okay, so it turns out he's playing Burning Abyss. Um, Burning Abyss, I have a good record against, but I don't have a good matchup with them, because there's no one card you can negate to stop everything. If you negate Tor Guy, they can just go off with the cards in their hand. If, if you would negate Dante, what does that even do? It just gets them a search from the graveyard and triggers whatever Burning Abysses were under them. 
Uh, you can't really negate any of the, uh, what do you call it, any of the XYZ monsters they go into because why would you do that? You're just going to put a material in the graveyard. The only thing that you can really negate, like, for sure is Skarm, I guess, or, like, Fire Lake, but even then, it's not that good. Uh, you summoned out Rubick, and Rubick's going to be coming in super clutch. Yeah. And here I'm talking about why I don't have a good Burning Abyss matchup, but despite that, Burning Abyss players usually just scoop. I don't know why. You saw that one live commentary I did. He makes Zen mains, which, I mean, I get it's a good move. I'll give him that, because... I can't actually, you know, stop Zen mains with a... Oh, yes, I can. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, I'm going to attack it twice, and then in the end phase, when it clears its effect to destroy something, I'll just negate the effect to destroy something with Quasar. Uh, Graph is detached, so he's going to get that Skarm out. I wish I could negate the Skarm, but i got to stop the uh, Zen mains. I don't want my shooting Quasar Dragon being destroyed. And having to deal with tons of floodgates. <clears throat> Here I pre-type negate Zen mains to pop. And I uh, he gets Alec, which is... Oh my god, Alec. Alec negates monsters, so that's going to force my negate out. And it will also... It'll also just force him to make a play. He spins that to the extra deck. Um, I... He didn't say he was chaining it, so... <laughs> That's really a pathetic reasoning, but I guess I did minor cheat. I was going to clarify, I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not going to clarify. I want my shooting star dragon. Yeah, I would cheat a little bit, given that a, a certain admin we know isn't anywhere around to get a little bit of advantage. I mean, yeah. If you don't know me, I'm a major jerk. I'm just going to say that out. I'm just going to throw that out there. I am a major, major jerk. Uh, burning Abyss guy quit against me. Uh, just typical. So we're moving into our fourth and final duel against... Uh, Final style, and as I go first, I'm just going to uh, talk about something recent. Now, if you go to my profile looking for a deck profile or something, you're going to see that I'm actually banned again. And I don't know what it is about making YouTube videos, but I get, I I didn't have a single ban from 2012 until I started making YouTube videos, right? Start making YouTube videos, this is my second time getting a ban. I mean, maybe I'm just a bigger jerk. Uh, I did deserve this ban. What? I know, right? Shatner's Prodigy, Shatner's Prodigy admitting he's in the wrong. This got to be a fake video. But yeah. Uh, I got banned for harassment major. Uh, it's just a five-day ban. I'll be back uh, Friday. I have I have a new policy where I'm going to start pre-recording a Fabled Quasar versus the world just in case I... Uh, just in case stuff happens and I can't do anything about it. Uh, here I'm trying to make a play because I see he's playing Necroz and Nec I can't I can't play against Necroz. There is no way I'm gonna win a duel against Necroz unless I start mad cheating, like just straight up hacking. But yeah, um, I'm hoping he bricks. I'm just praying that he bricks. I'm just praying his hand is five Colossaluses. No, not even that. Like five decisive armors, maybe five Gungnirs. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just hoping he has nothing. Uh, he, spoiler, has something. It's Necroz. They always have something. But I'm set up for the next turn if my field doesn't get trishula or, you know, provided all that. So he activates Rhoda. He's going to get his little... Yeah, he's going to get Colossalus adding Cycle. So I assume he has, what do you call it? Uh, Shurit in hand. And, uh, yeah. This is just Necroz stuff. He summons out Senju. Senju is going to get him a... What is it? What's it? Hey, he's going to get Valkyris. Uh, Valkyris is... I wouldn't negate Valkyris, honestly. So, he sends Quasar. That swag, though. And he sort of summons those two. Uh, Unicorn shuts down this deck hardcore. It stops your Reagan drawing. It stops anything you could do. Yeah. Uh, I'm saying dang in the chat. I think... Oh, I could have made Quasar! I didn't use Ravens. I didn't use Ravens effect at all last game. I could have made the Quasar, whatever. At this point, I'm so frustrated with myself that I'm like, you know what? I could have made the Quasar. I didn't use Ravens effect. I'm at exactly 1,000 ratings, so that's good. So yeah, this I uh, got my rating up, uh, boosting with those Dark Worlds. Am I right? The reason I was using Dark Worlds was because I was trying to grind to uh, 2,000 wins to get the picture up, and that got me up to a lot of uh, a lot of rating. Here I'm playing against another Burning Abyss player, and. I'm like, ah, how oh, I love BA. 
Yeah, I have a really good record against BA. I don't think I've lost to them on this channel, even whenever they were tier one, because everyone just always scoops. I don't know why. I guess they're allergic to me. But whatever, he sums out Dante, mills that three. Uh, if he has, yeah, I think <laughs> I'm saying reveal Fire Lake if you have it, because I can't, I can't stop Fire Lake. I'm not running my body as a swag. There's nothing I can do. And he does reveal the Fire Lake, making this grand total. Uh, four wins, uh, sorry, two wins and four losses overall. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the uh, awkward uploads, but I hope you enjoyed anyways. Uh, Shatner's Prodigy signing out.